Hey, I'm back. We're going to talk about using olive oil and never soy oil. Now, even though olive oil is an omega-6 oil that's normally inflammatory, it's, this is the one that is not inflammatory. But the other vegetable oils are because they're heavy on the omega-6 if you consume too much. But of all the oils, soy oil is the absolute worst, not just for inflammation, but it can cause insulin resistance, which is a pre-diabetic state. It can make you fat. In fact, studies on mice show that it can make you fatter than consuming fructose. So it's pretty bad. It'll increase your triglycerides, your macrophages, which basically lead to artery disease and clots and things like that, which heart problems. It can cause a fatty liver because the ins it spikes your insulin. And 90% of it is GMO. So of course we want to avoid that. So just realize that soy is not a healthy oil, despite what the American Heart Association told us that we need to replace our saturated fats with more unsaturated oils like soy and corn and canola, which is all GMO. But it's really hard to find food nowadays without the soy oil, uh, especially if you go out to restaurants. I mean, all the things that are fried uh, have soy oil. Uh, breads in the grocery store, infant formula, they put soy oil in there. Dressings, yeah, try to go to the grocery store and find a dressing without soy oil. Get the olive oil one or make your own. Snacks, desserts, tons of soy oil, soups, hummus now they put soy oil. They don't put olive oil unless you have to go to a health store for that. Different spreads like vegetable type dips. Uh, mayonnaise, they use soy oil because it's cheap. Um, Unfortunately, it's not very healthy. All right, so thanks for watching and definitely stick with the olive oil. You're going to be totally safe with that. Hey, tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and comment below and give me your feedback.